creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for creative week 31. So I started out this week doing a little work in my personal journal. This is something I don't usually show you guys, but I do do a little bit of decoration here and there in between all the writing that I do in it. So I like to share tidbits with you guys. This day I was working on a tip in. I added um, some new stickers, that sticker right there, um, that I got in um, the mail that I had ordered. And I did a little haul of that at the end of this video because I got some requests to do more type haul things again. Um, and it was just a few sticker packs. So I did put that on the end for you guys in case you were interested in that. And if not, then it's at the end. <laughs> so... I'm just making this tip-in collage here um, with a photo, and I'm going to use um, some paint and some magazine cutouts and stuff. Um, I had fun with it. This is usually a lot more decorating than I usually do in my writing journal, but I was just feeling it. I had this dark twisted fantasy uh, magazine cutout floating around. And it very loosely, philosophically went with what I was journaling about. So I decided to just use it because I like the wording, but when am I ever going to really have an opportunity that it perfectly applies, right? <laughs> so I decided to use that. And I believe that's all I did. I did use a tiny star brad earlier that you saw. If you were wondering why I was poking a hole in there, that's what that was. Um, and I used a clipping sticker, of course. So this is before I have gone to start house sitting. I did promise you guys a what I took with me video. Tons of you were interested in that. So I, that will be coming this coming week. Um, along with the junk journal that I made, I promised to do a flip through, but this video was too long, um, which you already know if you saw my Instagram story. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I will leave the link below in the description box for you, as always, um, because I do sneak peeks and polls, um, about content and stuff like that. So definitely go over there. So I just glued some Happy Mail ephemera of those eyes onto there, and then I moved my October card up. I thought I had more stuff from September to back journal, but I ended up being all done. So that's what I did there. Right here, I'm using a jewelry head pin and putting some crystal chips on there. I believe it's uh, amethyst. And I don't know why. I just wanted to put them in my journal, and I found that that was probably the best way to go about it without having it be super crazy bulky. So I just tied a string through the Becky Higgins hole on the Project Life pockets and put the head pin with the gem chips on there. And I thought that was super cool. So now I have little crystals inside of my journal. <laughs> so... Right here, I'm super sad because I lost the footage of me doing those pockets. And if you've been following me for a while, you know these pockets are my favorite part of the journal usually. So that's kind of a bummer, but obviously you'll see them in depth in the flip through. Um, I did cut the bottom photo on half, so I thought that was cool, but oh well. So that playing card there, um, I just added a swatch thing to it for a tab. Um... I had also stapled a piece of ledger paper to it so that I could do some journaling on it. And I just slipped it into the pocket until I'm ready to do the journaling. This is a sneak peek at a collab that I'm doing with my sister later on this month. Um, and I did want to journal on the back of it. So I had put some Distress Oxide and used some paper layers. And yeah. And a rub on so I'm gonna journal on that later that'll get stuck in the pocket um, you can see there at the back of the pocket pages for more footage that's missing it was a great deal of footage unfortunately um, but that is my new tattoo there the you are here um, so super excited about that of course that went in my journal 
And that was the very quick pocket pages that were done. So this is the day that I'm leaving to go house it. And before I left, I wanted to fill up all of my fountain pens. I have different inks in all of my fountain pens um, because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> And I thought it would be good just to fill them up before I go. That way I didn't have to take any ink with me. I do come back home every Friday because I have a cleaning client um, in my neighborhood anyway. So I'm not super worried about running out of ink. Um, plus I have like six pens, so I think it'll be okay. I don't think I'll do that much writing. But anyway, so that's just what I'm doing here. Um... Obviously, my Twispies I have to fill out of the bottle, but if the it has a cartridge converter, I like to take the cartridge converter out and use the syringe to insert the ink, which is what you saw me doing, um, because you get a more full fill that way, and it's a lot less messy. Like, I don't have to clean off the nib like you can see me doing here. Now, this is me at... Uh, the house that I'm sitting at. So hopefully the lighting's okay. I think it is. This is a cute little insert that came in a carton of eggs that I bought, which I thought was super interesting and unique. Um, so I wanted to put that in my journal. It's like a little newsletter. So did that, um, and I got a date stamp finally, which I've been using obsessively. So there's that. Um, and then I don't know if you know this, but um, in my favorite YouTuber suggestions or whatever, I uh, love following Tina over at Overall Adventures. She does awesome journaling videos about written journaling um, and getting more into a better practice of it and talking about um, different questions that you can kind of ask yourself in your journal to really get to know yourself um, and use it as a tool. So I love her channel um, and I had directed one of my friends over there and she kind of directed Tina back to me which I thought was super cool. It's really cool when things come full circle like that. So um, and Tina started following me on Instagram. So. That made me super excited. <laughs> so I kind of screenshotted that and printed it out and wanted to journal about that in my journal. Then I pulled out some stamps. Um, because I've been using my stamps more, I then fell back in love with using them and bought more, such as the Creative Cycle. <laughs> so I'm just using some of the new Tim Holtz stamps that I got mixed with some of the older ones that I had to make a background. Um, I also used Zig Clean Color Row Brushes. That's what the color was that I put down. And I'm using a lot of my Happy Mail bits, um, which you'll see why when I do my What I Took With Me <laughs> video. Um, but so I'm just going through those and trying to find stuff that I want to use. I had printed out this quote and I glued it down in this journal before, but I didn't like it, so I pulled it up and I think this is the perfect spot to put it. You will have also seen this on my Instagram. Um, possibly, because I posted it the other day. But the quote is, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. By Albert Einstein. Um, and I really, really like that quote, because it speaks to how we're not all the same. Um, we all have different talents, so if you focus on the things you can't do, then you might live your life believing you're dumb when you're really good at something else. So, that's a whole nother rant. <laughs> but I just continued collaging on those papers. Um, and then I, what did I do? I put down this uh, watercolor piece that I got in some mail that I really love. So I'm using that. Um, then this is a bit, uh, I had this photo stuck on this pocket for a while and I didn't know what to do with it. And I, someone had sent me a drawing of a jellyfish that they did on this really cool, uh, watery card type thing. So 
I peeled the photo off and I put it on there and I stuck it in the envelope and I believe I use my date stamp on it because I'm date stamping all the things. Um, I see that this light's a little frosty, um, so sorry about that. I'm still working out the lighting at the place that I'm watching. Um, I did bring one of my filming lights with me, but I might have to bring another one. We'll see. Um, so here what I'm doing is back journaling again. Um, we have a fair that's uh, in Maine, and we took my grandmother to it because she really likes fairs. So I cut up the pamphlet handout kind of thing. It had a map on it, and it had the history of the fair, which I actually didn't know, so I thought that was super cool and wanted to add that to my journal uh, just to kind of enhance um, journaling about the experience. And then I saved the other half of the handout because it was like a fold-out map kind of to use in a junk journal. Now I get lots of requests on videos about how to, how I make my journals, how do I make my junk journal, how do I make a journal like yours, what do you use in your journal, where do you get your journals. <laughs> so I will be doing a video on how I make my journals that will hopefully help you guys kind of adapt it to whatever size and style you like. Um, so that will be coming, it won't be like next week or anything, but I'm hoping to try and do it um, either before the end of this month or the beginning of next month, we'll see. I have other videos scheduled and collabs and stuff that I do, so time will tell. <laughs> so my aunt sent me this picture of this bee, which I just absolutely love this photo, it's super cool. Um, and bees are awesome. It's, they're essential to life. Yeah. So, <laughs> I tuck some stickers on it and I'm going to stick it in that pocket there. I also got this, um, Project Life card in some Happy Mail. And I really liked the quote on it. And I thought it went well with the color scheme I have going there on the right. And the B went well with the blues on the left. So that's how I kind of constructed that pocket to make a nice flow between um, the pages. That's really why I like tip in so much. I think it just creates a really nice flow between the pages. So then I took out my Distress Oxides and my Zig Clean Color Brushes. And I used them to put some color uh, in between the ephemera that I glued on this page from the pamphlet. Um, I also wanted to use some of these Windsor and Newton watercolors. This is a little travel set that I have that's very like urban sketchy colors. Um, and they had all stuck to the top, so I'm not quite sure what we're going to do about that, but we'll figure it out. And just use some peeled paint oxide and sprayed it to activate it. Then I went back and I usually don't put things on the front cover, but I really felt like I wanted to put this there. Um, I'm really missing summer already. I love wearing racerback tanks. Um, and of course it's too cold now to wear them. So it was kind of a little fro throwback with this gorgeous watercolor frame that uh, one of my pen pals made me. And I had stapled that fly, the blue fly to it. So I'm just journaling on that thing about why I'm putting that photo there. And I used my Wink Costello pen to add some glitter. And just sticking it there, so that's that. Just going through, looking at things, seeing what else I can do. I used my date stamp again. See? Obsession. Like I was saying. <laughs> On there. And then I took this out, um, date stamped that, and then journaled. Sometimes I'm really into dating things and sometimes I'm not. And right now it's one of those, like, I have to know what... I have to have a date on it. Like, I'm just in that phase right now. Sometimes I couldn't give two craps about it, but right now it's an absolute necess necessity. Can't talk. So that's what I was doing there. 
And then I was sure I wanted those in that pocket, so I just stapled the bottom up so it wouldn't fall out. And this is some Halloween stuff. Usually I don't journal about holidays, really, um, but I there are things like skeletons and poison labels and witches and stuff um, that I will use all year round. It doesn't bother me because I like them. So I will use those things. Um, like I said, I don't buy anything I wouldn't use all year, if that makes sense, usually. So I'm just pulling out some of those bits that I want to journal with and putting them here on the page using my Zig Clean color. I really don't have any plan. I'm just making a little collage and the page will turn into something after, um, which is pretty typical of me, as you know. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing here. And I did turn the page into something, but I didn't film it. You'll see it in my flip through. I gotta save some things for you guys to see in the flip throughs, you know. So here I'm just using my principles um, that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> it's really cool when you make something that's your own that you want to use all the time. So that's what I'm doing here, just labeling the star washi strip with one of those circles as a date spot. And then I stamped my date in pink. All right, so I have a little haul that I thought I would share with you. This is from the Etsy shop called Powder World. Um, I have been lusting after these stickers for years. Um, I cannot remember the name of the lovely girl's Etsy shop. I mean, of her Instagram, but I will leave it linked below. She does absolutely gorgeous artwork and then puts them onto stickers and things. I'm afraid I'm going to rip that sticker. <laughs> so, um, she came out with... She's always had other uh, stickers, but she came out with a Halloween one and she had a flash ship free shipping sale. And I finally bit the bullet. I said, you know what? It's timely in. You can't pass this up. They get you with those limited edition things, I swear. So I think it's adorable that she puts your name on the sticker. And then this is a freebie bigger size of it, which is super cool. So this haul ended up being like way too long. So I just sped it up for you guys. This is one of the sticker sheets from the Halloween set. Like I said, I don't buy anything I wouldn't use year-round. Um, it's got some washi tape strips on it and stuff. Then I also got the Bad Girl Sticker Flake set, which I have been looking at for a long time. I love this illustration. The sassy girl with her tattoo and her glasses. <laughs> so I picked that up. And you get six pieces in different sizes, and they're mirrored. And I think that's really cool that she gives you mirrored images. Um, so it doesn't feel like you're using the same thing over and over again. Then this is from her Planetista collection. Um, it's just a girl with a moon and some triangles and some tattoos and um, some crystals and geometric patterns and stuff. I just think they're super cool and right up my alley. So I got those. She also does a lot of nature-themed ones. Um which were on my wish list, but I'd never ordered from her, so I wanted to just get a few the first time around. And then these are the two packs that I got from the Carn Evil set. I know some people think this is really gross, but I really like the Joker-esque um, look of the lovers. So she does like a little tarot set thing there. And I'm not sure what happened to the rest of the footage. <laughs> so, I guess that's the end of the video. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I will try to include it in something else for you to see the other one. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check Powder World out. I will leave it linked below for you guys. The Junk Journal video is coming on Monday, so don't worry about that. Um, sorry that I lost footage and stuff. It's just one of those weeks, um, and stuff happens. But there's a lot of good nuggets in here for you to get inspired by. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Take care, guys.